a couple of questions came up. One was, do we really understand at this point the systemic nature of what's going on uh, when we have 24-7 coverage of uh, incidents like in Cleveland, but it's uh, more sensational than it is systemic? And then related to that, how do you address the issue of the victims not pressing charges against their captors? And I guess then that spills over into the latest Air Force report as well. All right, so first of all, let me, hand, let me handle a great subject, victims and captors. What we are doing at the American Bar Association and also as lawyers is we are turning um, the recovery from captors on its end. So what are the ways of eradicating slavery in this country? What are the reasons why people are doing this? Some of them are, are, are deranged. Some of the people are simply deranged, and there's nothing we can do about that. Or there are, all right, but it's not the kind of mass. But if you remove profit from this vehicle, you eliminate a good portion of this trafficking. And through what we call RICO, the Racketeering Influence Corruption Act, right, through RICO and other vehicles, we are teaching lawyers how to sue the perpetrators after having been convicted criminally, going after their money, going after their money. And that is a great question because it's one way of handling it. Sensational coverage versus real awareness, we're getting there. At least we're talking about it in this country. A year and a half ago, before Nick Kristoff came out with a back page article and said, and had that survivor, that little girl, Actually, he quoted her, and I don't know how many of you remember that. She said, you could call an email, email backpage.com's advertisements and order me and have me delivered faster than a pizza. When we started to hear that, when I say to you that the reason slavery is so profitable that it is the fastest growing organized crime, faster than guns, other than drugs. And I tell you that the reason it's the fastest growing is because I can sell a gun only once, that gun, and I can sell a hit on drugs only once, and that hit is gone. But I can capture this little human being and I can have her raped for my profit 20 and 30 times a day until she dies. That's profit, and that's what we have to remove. So I love the question about removing the profit from the trade. And then the national awareness. Sensationalism, no, I don't like it. But what was great or horrible or great or horrible, perverse, about the kind of coverage we're seeing is this drove home the girls next door to your house. This drove home that your neighbor and it's going to be shown as to whether his brothers even knew what was going on. But your neighbor could be the person keeping slaves in his house or a raft of slaves someplace else, all right, because he's making a lot of money and his children are going to a private school and you don't know him as anything else other than a successful businessman.